We're at a time in history after the Orlando Gay Club shooting Jihad. I've come to Florida to find out why this place has seen one of the worst homophobic attacks in history. It's the Islam, stupid. The killer, Omar Mateen, claimed allegiance to ISIS. Thank you. But it turns out he was also a regular at Pulse. No, God, please, no, no, no! In terms of um, the individual who walks into Pulse, and, and kills all of these people. What, what do you think his story was? Like, what, what was his motives? It's the Islam, stupid. I had a friend that said he talked to him on Jack, which is a gay app. He said, and my friend's not a liar, so I believe him. He probably was gay, and he was probably fighting it, you know what I mean? There's a lot of people that c can't come out of the closet, and they, they hate and envy us because we can't. Kill the one who sodomizes and the one who lets it be done. May Allah curse him who does what lots of people did. So here we have the fact that in Islam, the Islamic text for law call for the killing of homosexuals. If they're right that the gunman was struggling with his sexuality and religion, I needed to speak to other gay Muslims. Thank you. Thank you. How easy is it to be a gay Muslim? It's actually really difficult. I actually had, um, a very, very popular uh, Muslim uh, guy actually preached at my local university. One time he actually preached that everything that's wrong in this world is nude beaches, gay people, and people that change their sex. I was right in front of him. I kid you not, but... How, how do you respond to that? How do you react? We don't criticize Muslims. They are a protected class. The next day, I meet up with Julia from the video. She's getting a tattoo to remember her friends who died. Hey, sir. Hi. How you doing? Good, how are you? How are you looking at you? Kind of thinking about uh, that one, basic, to the point. Well, hang on, have these all been designed specifically in response to what yes. happened at Pulse? Yes, That's so cool. this is the Pulse logo for the actual nightclub. And then it says, these, that says one love, and then it's one Pulse. How many people have been asking you? A ton. I, I can't put a number on it, but every day. While some members of the LGBT community are marking the tragedy with tattoos, others are taking more radical steps, like Erin. This is something that polarizes it, Americans. It does. And it's so emotive. The idea to some people to just run out and make sure more people have more guns is ludicrous because they're the very things that are causing these mass tragedies. It's the Islam, stupid. Why are we blaming a gun when someone shoots someone? We blame the person. Thank you. But then I heard about an event that would show extreme homophobia is alive and well in America. No, God, please, no, no, no! It's Saturday and I've arranged to meet Julia at the funeral for her friend Drew. But a group of evangelical preachers from the Westboro Baptist Church have also shown up. It's the Islam, stupid. But before I go, I want to ask Julia, what has to change? Hashtags are brilliant, the support is amazing, the flowers are awesome, but you need significant change. There is something socially wrong with America that this constantly keeps happening. It's the Islam, stupid. You know, for me being here, I would describe it as almost bittersweet. I guess on the one hand, these guys were targeted specifically because of who they are. It's the Islam, stupid. Thank you.